If you're looking for a way to mount an external monitor to your Sony FX3 or FX30, then you've come to the right place. I've done all the research for you, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you five different ways to mount your monitor to your camera. Number one, the most affordable way to do this is to mount an adapter that attaches to your top handle and then rests on top of the XLR module. Both Nitsi and Tilta make a version of this for about $30. Now the benefit of this solution is it only requires one piece of hardware and it's relatively inexpensive. The downside to the solution is it places a monitor right next to your shotgun mic. If your monitor happens to have a fan, your shotgun mic could possibly pick up that noise and ruin your audio. So use this solution with caution. Option number two is a little bit more expensive because you're going to need to purchase a top handle extension plus a quick release NATO rail. I like this solution because it has a quick release for your monitor so it's easy to break down and pack away. Plus you can move the monitor to the front or back of your top handle. However, be aware this does put the monitor right on top of the top handle. And so if you're someone who likes to use the top handle a lot, it could interfere with operation of the camera. Solution number three is the one I'm currently using and requires you to buy four additional pieces of equipment. Now, I did not come up with this solution. I found it from another YouTuber named Michael Righteousen. And so basically what he does is he buys a top handle extension. Then you add a rod clamp on top of that. And then you can add a 15 millimeter rod. And then lastly, you'll need some sort of monitor adapter to attach a monitor. So that's four pieces of equipment you have to buy and it's not cheap. The total cost of this solution comes to about $100. I like this solution because it allows me to rotate the monitor uh, towards myself while I'm filming to set my composition. It also allows me the flexibility to keep the monitor away from the shotgun mic. However, I did take this setup out on a job recently and when I set my camera down, what winds up happening is your camera is heavy on the left. And so my camera was constantly tipping over and falling onto the ground and it wasn't very stable. And the problem with that is it can potentially damage the HDMI cable coming out of your monitor. If you have a solution for making the base wider on your FX3, uh, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how to do that because I like this solution, but I need to make it more stable. Solution number four is nice because it only requires you to buy one piece of equipment. And that is to attach an ultralight magic arm to the end of the top handle. This puts the monitor close to your face so it's easy to see and it doesn't interfere as much with the top handle. Finally, solution number five. Uh, this is probably the cleanest solution that solves all the problems. Uh, however, it is the most expensive because it requires you to buy six additional pieces of equipment. Now, this is not my own solution. I saw this by a guy named Paul Joy uh, on YouTube and I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Here are the pieces you need to buy in order to replicate his solution. Number one, you're gonna need to buy the small rig half gauge. Number two, you're gonna need a small rig four inch carbon rod. Number three, small rig 50 millimeter rod bracket. Number four, small rig six inch rod. Number five, a Nitsi monitor mount. And number six, the small rig 12 to 15 millimeter single rod clamp. And the total cost of that solution is about $180 on amazon.com. So there you go, five options for mounting your external monitor to your Sony FX3 or FX30. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.